So it turns out we've actually managed to fail one of the tasks that we have. We also have a problem at a brewery, which we can go and deal with. But we actually failed the job to go and take over this territory right here. Because it's been taken over by one of the other families. Which is fair enough. But to be completely honest, it does have me a little bit worried. Because I do think it might be an idea to go and push into some other territory. Before these guys try and take over the entire neighborhood. We are going to have to deal with the cults in this area at some point because we are going to want the entire neighborhood but that's i i think we take over these two places we get one of them to be a casino and we also need to add an improvement building to the fourth precinct now to do that we actually need to go and upgrade the safe house i think i'm pretty sure we need to upgrade the safe house because if we look right here at the improvement slots we need the safe house and the precinct to be level two or higher. And the safe house right now is level one. So essentially what I think we go ahead and do is we put an upgrade in for security. And I guess we go ahead and improve the alcohol quality there as well. And you know what? We'll do production as well. So we'll do all of those things, upgrade the safe house. That's going to let us put some improvement buildings into the space. Gotcha. And while we're doing that, we can go ahead and start working on these two rackets over here. Now, I do want to make sure that everyone's nicely healed. So Max right now is 155 of 155. You're 80 of 80 and you're 88 of 80. Okay, let's just get right in here and take this place over as quick as we can. Shouldn't be, I mean, the, oh, the balance of power is not great, but we should be all right. We should be able to manage this relatively well so what i think we do is 68 percent chance that's a shotgun blast let's go ahead and take that chance and see if we can hit the guy which we absolutely can and essentially we're just going to try and hit all of them as much as we possibly can take them out as quick as possible that's an unfortunate miss but it is what it is there's actually a lot of guys in here good lord Pretty sure that one's melee. He's going to be easy enough to deal with. Uh, that one has a pistol. Should be easy enough to deal with. This one is marking Hugh as a bit of a target. And also missing Ma right there. I think this guy's coming around. I don't think he's going to be able to shoot. So I think he might actually be putting himself in a spot where we can shoot him nice and easily. So Ma, let's see what you can do for us. 93% chance of killing that guy. I don't... I don't hate those chances to be completely honest i guess we i well you know what we'll do some overwatch actually we'll do some overwatch and if these guys move at all we just shoot them and that should be totally fine oh god hugh no oh i hope Hugh. i really hope hugh doesn't get knocked out again that is gonna be such a pain if he does oh what a shot what a beautiful, beautiful shot that was. Okay. Now, let's see what we can do. We don't really want to do Overwatch. 68%. Can we move a little bit? We absolutely can. I'm going to move to here because I want to focus on these guys rather than the guys way up there. 90% chance of hitting this one. Let's go ahead and take it. Which, I mean, we knocked him back as well, which is not bad. Now, Hugh, can we move you... Uh, there's not really anywhere good to put you for cover. Now, 30% chance is not bad. I think I think Hugh is going to need to go over here. I think he's going to need to be in better cover because he's he was getting lit up a little bit there. This guy... Man, how dare you? How dare you? Striking Ma across the face with a hammer. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? We'll show him. We'll show him is what we're going to do. Oh, God. Oh, man. Hugh is 100% going to get knocked out of this, isn't he? I don't know if he's going to die, but I get the feeling he's going to 100% end up uh, All right. needing to go and rest again. How did we not kill this guy? Are you kidding me? Finding a better place. He's got one HP again. Oh, no. Hugh. What are you doing? We got we to gotta help him here. I mean... We can, we can take this guy out pretty easy. 90, whatever. What percent are we looking at? 98. 
I mean, we could we could hit him. I kind of want to heal Hugh, though. That seems like a much better idea. Otherwise, he might actually end up dead, which would be less than ideal. Now, I do want to do some damage here, so we're going to hit this guy with a shotgun. Got a crit on him as well. Hopefully, we can finish him off. We do get Hugh to uh, deal with this. So, 95%. I guess we're going to take it. We could we could finish this guy as well. 83%. But we'll, we'll finish this one. Just because I figure we might as well. So he's dead. There's like a few of them left. What are you... Sir, would you... Would you... Would you please... Would you please stop striking her with a hammer? Wait, what's going on? Oh, God. Ma's been marked for death now. What are you doing? You're moving? I don't think you're going to be shooting though, right? Oh, God, there are a few of you. One, two, three, four, five of them left. Oh, God, Max, no. Oh, no we, oh, God, now Max fucker. has been marked. No, Hugh has been marked, I think. Okay. Come on, you piece of that's, shit. that's fine. Uh, Ma, what can we get you to do? 76% chance, 46. Let's take the, uh, you know what, actually. Let's, let's get you into cover. So let's get you back there. And let's have you try and finish this guy off. So there we go. That's some pretty good damage. And now we got a few guys going to move about. We got this guy coming in. I'm kind of hoping we can get the backup coming in. Oh, that overwatch is going to be a bit rough. I'm hoping we can get some backup coming in. I'm hoping that Max can maybe do a little something something to get some backup coming in here. Which we absolutely can. So I think we are going to bolster the ranks just a little bit. Bring in the boys and see if that's going to help us out. Now, Hugh has nicely healed up. Let's finish this guy. Just to get him out of there. And that means we're not interrupting the Overwatch. Now, oh, that's... I really hope he doesn't... Oh, no. I really hope he doesn't need to take a rest after this. I really... I'm going to be annoyed if he does. I'm going to be really annoyed if he does. Uh, let's hit this guy, though. Let's see if we can get you out of that Overwatch. There we go. So we should have, into, yep, disrupted the Overwatch. That's fine. He's gone back into Overwatch. 65% chance on you and dead. And now there's just three of them left. Now this one's going to move up. There's actually two of them in Overwatch right now. And four of them left. Oh my god, they're all in Overwatch. Um, Let's hit you. And try and take you out, which we've managed to do. And now Max, let's hit this guy and get him out of here and then Hugh we can hopefully hit this guy and get him out of overwatch as well there we go so overwatch isn't a problem anymore this guy's going for a double fire though and he got both of them on uh, on old max there this guy's going for a double fire as well jesus starting to look like sunny corleone from the godfather okay what can we do 46 percent I don't like those odds, but I guess we'll take it. And we missed. That's fine. We've got the uh, we've got the bodyguards here as well. So we'll move this one up and see what he can do. I think this is the one with a rifle, right? Oh, God. He needs to reload. Well, let's swap out the weapon and see if we can hit this guy. 45% chance. Let's go. And we got him. He's got one HP left. The other bodyguard, 20% chance of killing him. Can we do it? Well, we did some damage. That's better than nothing. We should be able to finish both of them off now, though, right? So he's dead. And Hugh, please, 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 please kill this guy. Let's just get this done. There we go. All right. Job should be done. We got some guns. which We got a zip gun, which is interesting. But we'll take everything. We'll take this place over as well. And we don't actually have that much money. And that's, that's a bit of a problem because we kind of need money to, you know, take over something into a, into a casino. So, I'm not really sure what to do. We could ransack it, which uh, closes the building down. We're then going to have to buy it. We're very close to having enough money for a casino. That's, that's what's annoying me. I think let's just, let's just do a speakeasy. We'll turn the other one into a casino. So this will be the trap door speakeasy. My notoriety's gone up a little bit. It's a bit of a dump. It is, it is, a, it's, it's a bit of a dump. Let's be honest, but it's a bit more money. 
right? It's it's a bit more money coming in, so it'll it'll do the job. It's it's good enough is what I'm getting at. Now, let's take a look at the old safe house down in this space and see how it's going. Uh, we don't need to run down there, but we probably will. In terms of upgrades, they are in progress. So no real rush there. And in terms of, ooh, okay. What can we do with you? You automatically perform a counterattack against any character that melees you. You can protect yourself and any allies within range, applying a 40% damage reduction to yourself and all allies in range for the next three rounds. Or you can charge the character, knocking them back and dealing damage. I like the bullet shield idea. That seems like a pretty good one. So, I guess we need to take this place over. But we kind of need some money before we can do that. We're doing okay in terms of money. We're not doing... You know, we're not we're not doing bad. But we definitely need more. We definitely need that casino because that is one of the objectives of something. Not exactly sure where. Right here. Ace is wild. So if we can get seven grand and take this place over, we can get ourselves a casino. We also have Harry Adams in here who, honestly, I wouldn't say no. So if we look at you. You've got yourself a nice rifle. You got yourself a pistol. How much to hire you, though? That's going to be the question. So, I can't afford you. It's going to be 15,000 up front with 20%. Oh, God, no. All right. Well, he can he can chill in there for a little bit. I don't think we're going to be... Don't think we're going to be too worried about that. Oh, no. Oh, these territories are getting taken over pretty quick by the, uh, by the colds, huh? Although this one isn't entirely theirs right now. It is partially owned by the other guys. In fact, the Colts, I think, only have the one building. So we could we could go mess with them a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be a good idea. So let's go hit this place. Wait, I can't. Ooh. Now that's not something I can do. I wonder, do I have to, have I discovered this place? I think I have, right? Yeah. We can't attack it. Which is a little bit frustrating. I'd like to attack it because if I attack it, I might be able to ransack it and get some money for it. But I guess we're not going to be doing that. Uh, this turf here as well. These guys are starting to take over. So they're taking over a lot of space. We are actually going to be a little bit limited in what we can do around here. Which is kind of frustrating, but I guess that's just going to be the way of it. Now, let's have a look at the district. We've got some improvement stuff that we can do. We actually have a lot of things that we can do here. So a boxing club is one additional guard to the rackets. A mob lawyer is reducing police activity by 40. A gun store is a 1% discount for black market purchases that stacks with other gun stores. A private clinic is more passive healing in the district. A pawn shop, meh. A workshop is upgrades have a 5% discount. A hotel will double your synergy bonus in this neighborhood. Does not stack. Racket income is increased by 3%. Customer capacity increased by 240. And an accountancy firm, which is exclusive to Murder Incorporated, our family. Loan shark income increased by 10%. Okay. Now, we do need to do that. That is another thing that we need to do. That is actually one of the... I think it's this guy. No, uh, it is this guy. So, that's going to give me 2,000 back and a shotgun if I go and do this. Which is tempting. I'm not going to lie. It's very tempting to go and... Wait, what are these guys doing? Hello? What are you guys scouting for, huh? What uh, what, what exactly is going on? Don't know that I appreciate them sniffing around my turf. Huh. We might have to keep an eye on these guys. They have pushed very, very close to our territory. So we might... Might want to do something about that. At some point. For now... I think it's probably let's fine. Move. Let's let's head over this way. I'm not sure when we get paid next. I think it's... Oh, there we go. 7,927. Let's go ahead and hit this place. Let's take it over. Hopefully nice and quickly. And let's confirm. If we take it over quickly, which... Oh, my God. They have so many guys again. Hey. Okay. Let's do this. Mm, come on, 
If we take it over, we can turn it into a casino and we're sorted. 50% chance of hitting this guy. Okay. I feel like Max should probably move up a little bit. He should probably get himself a little bit of better cover. So like there. Just, you know, something so he's actually in cover. Uh, and let's put him on... Well, putting him in Overwatch is pointless. Let's swap the weapon and then put him on Overwatch. So if anyone comes sort of through that middle space, they'll get shot. As for Hugh... 40% chance. Let's take it and see if we can hit the guy. Which we can't. I think we kind of need them to push forward, don't we? Now, that guy, I'm pretty sure, is melee. So he's going to get got by the Overwatch eventually. Someone's marked someone else as a target. This guy is... What are you doing? Nothing at all. Okay. Ma, what can I get you to do for me? Okay, 94%. Let's take it. Let's hit the guy. There we go. And now there's a lot of moving for them to do. There's what? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many of them. There's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, like eight of them or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, something like eight, I want to say. Which, yeah, worrying. It's a lot of guys. It's a lot of guys. And they just get to move around a lot. And we kind of just sit here and watch them. Although, if we can call in reinforcements, that would be kind of great. Which we can't do because we need to kill someone. So let's just stay on Overwatch for now with Max. And let's see what we can do. Although we could just go on Overwatch with uh, Hugh as well. I think we'll try and shoot this guy though. See if we can't start doing some damage and start taking these guys out a little bit. And if they come closer... Oh. Oh, I've just noticed that... Oh. I've just noticed that the cover that Max has is actually kind of useless. He can't do anything at all. That's... That's a little embarrassing, I'm not going to lie. That's that's a, <laughs> that's a little embarrassing. Uh, let's shoot this guy and see if we can do some damage. There we go. All right. I'm not actually too worried about this. I think we'll be okay. I just, I, I feel, oh God, this guy's moving up as well. Wait, are we going to shoot him? Nope. What did he just throw? I have no idea what's going on with some of these guys. I really don't. And they're all getting really close as well. Which is also kind of worrying. This guy here, though, the 39 of 77, he is going to die. 100% he's going to die. Uh, let's move Max over here. Let's get him into a spot where he can start shooting at people. Let's take this guy out. And I think, you know, that is that the first one we've killed on this? It might be. Uh, let's take this guy out. Hopefully not missing him. There we go. So that should bring them down to six guys left. A bunch of them will start moving forward, but I still don't think they have a very good shot on us. Uh, this guy's 46, 37% on this one. What if we swap weapons? Can we hit this guy? 76% and a double shot. Come on. Let's put him down. There we go. All right, that should give them five left. This guy's moving up, not shooting. This guy's marked a target. That's okay. And he is attacking as well. You're not going to hit from that. No. That's a sniper. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to have to be wary of him because he could do a lot of damage. This guy, too. That might be a shotgun he's got there. But I think for now, we're okay. Now, uh, let's see. we got a pistol on Max right now. We can call in the boys, but I'm actually going to hold off because I don't know that we need to. 98% on this guy is pretty good so let's hit him with a shotgun and if we can put him down with hugh we actually get a straight run through uh which we should be able to do so let's hit him with uh, whatever hugh's firing as well all right and now we get to go straight into ma and see what we can do there 51 percent to put this guy down let's take that chance we got him and we missed all right you know what? I'll take it. There's four of them left. There's three of us. This one's moved up. He's not attacking. Wait. Oh, one of them's on Overwatch. Interesting. And this guy's... He's going to get an attack off, right? No, he's going to Overwatch as well. That's actually kind of surprising. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We've got an 80% chance of hitting this guy. What about you? 70? Ay. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. 
I feel like we should hit this guy, but I'm going to go with this one. Just because I can. Just because I want to take him out of that Overwatch. Shit, I'm done for. And now, Hugh should be able to... 65% on you, 45 on you. We're not going to get that one. So let's take the 65 and see what kind of damage we can do. If any, which we did. And then Ma, I kind of need you. Well, you could you could potentially put that guy down. What if we swap weapons? Can you really put now? Okay. Let's have Ma go into Overwatch. And he moves out and we miss. Okay, well, that's a little bit embarrassing. Hugh's gotten lit up a little bit there. This guy's probably going to get some shots off on him as well. Thankfully, he misses, which is great. And 98% uh, versus 70. Oh, boy. All right. Let's 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 take the 70. we got to start doing some damage here. Uh, Hugh, you kind of need to reload. So we'll go with the reload and then we'll light this guy up, I guess. Which 85%, come on. Let's put him down. There we go. And then Ma... I kind of need you to get this guy. That's that's kind of what we're looking at here. 36%. Please don't miss. And you missed. Okay. You know what I need to stop doing? I need to stop saying the words, please don't and miss in that order. Because it's proving to be a problem. Now, this guy... Oh, my God. He actually got him. That was a hell of a shot. And Max is bleeding pretty badly. Oh, you've got to be kidding. How? How? How it was a 70% chance of hitting him. He was right there. All right. Hugh, get over there and put this guy down. Please don't miss. Okay. That's fine. Now, this other guy needs to go. So, Ma, I kind of need you there. And I need you to hit him. 46%. You got him. Now, he's maybe gonna move yeah he is gonna move not sure what he's doing but that's fair enough uh let's have you execute this man with the old machete through the chin which is fair i mean as 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 execution methods go it's definitely definitely effective uh let's move you up to here and i'm not sure if i can shoot anyone from here which i don't think i can do so we'll just overwatch because we can and then ma Ah, uh, we're going to take a risk. We're going to take a risk. We're going to put you out in the open. You need to reload, so we're going to swap your weapon. 56% chance. Please don't miss. And you missed. This is where Ma gets shot by a sniper, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Ooh, my God. Okay. I don't appreciate that. I'm not going to lie, but 50%. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Okay, so this is mine. We got a, what looks to be some kind of burst fire medium range weapon worth $7,000. We should sell things. We should definitely sell things. Uh, let's get a casino though. The Golden Chalice. And what have we got here? They're inviting me to war. Reagan's cults have been a thorn in my side for too long. Help me kick their tails out of our city. Okay, okay, okay. Sweeten the deal for me. So. I. Hmm. I want a non aggression pact. And I want that precinct. That's, that's what I want. I want their precinct, which has apparently been rejected. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I took over the precinct. Well done. You suppose that brute force is a strategy, not how I would have done things. All right. Mission completed. We got some notoriety, intimidation, marksmanship. Got a lot of things with a trench knife. Okay. We took over a territory. War has been declared. Okay. I kind of want Reagan's cults to win that war. I'm not going to lie. I, I actually kind of want them to win because if they win then that gives me reason to go and take over the other turf. Hey boss, there's uh, some weird guy here creeping out the customers. He ain't playing any games or anything neither. He's just hovering by the bar. You should come take a look at him. Okay, who would you be? Oh, it's Izzy again. Ah, you again. 
Ah, uh, don't act so surprised. What are you doing here, Izzy? I heard there was an illegal casino operating here in the South Loop serving contraband. What do you think about that? Aren't you gonna ask if I have any golden nectar? Hey, don't step on my line, Maxim. Yes, I did my research on you. Now, I don't so much care about the casino stuff you got here. All I care about is the booze. Now, where is it? Well, I guess it's the hard way after all, is he? He's running? Oh my god, what have we done? Well, now we have a lot of guys, which is great, but what have we done? Good lord. We might have made a mistake here. We we might we might have made a bit of an error in uh, in our judgment right here. Let's get into cover because that seems like a pretty good idea. And seventy two percent chance. Let's take that shot. See if we can put you down. There we go. All right. Now Ma, let's get you up this way. Hugh is going to have to stay back. Hugh is 100% going to have to stay back. Because he could die here. Oh my god, they lit up my guard. Who are you shooting? Oh god. This this could be a problem. This this could be bad. This could be <laughs> really, really bad. Um, hmm. All right, let's move the guard over here a little bit. You can stay in cover, and we'll see if we can do some damage here. So we got you. We got two more of these guys going to start shooting. Wait, what are you doing? No hey! What? Oh, no. Oh, you missed. That's good. Okay. So that's, that's fine. Uh, we got you kind of chilling. Let me move you to different cover. And let's see what we can do with you. It's a 40% chance. Let's take it. And we missed. That's fine. That was kind of to be expected. All right. Hugh, I mean, I kind of need you to survive this. I, I kind of really need you to survive this. Let's, let's try and put that guy down. We missed. I'm... I'm 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 disappointed, Hugh. I'm not gonna lie. I am disappointed, but I understand. Uh, let's get you into this cover, and hope that you don't die horribly. And we'll take a nine percent chance, and we missed. Of course, we did. I feel like I need better guards. Definitely feeling like I need better guards. Let's take a shot with you, and we got you. Okay. Still plenty of people to uh, be taking shots with here, so let's move you up a little bit. And try 60% chance. Let's go for it. There we go. Got the knockback as well. Okay. So now it circles around. I do want to take this guy out. I think that's going to be pretty important. So let's start with you. And I can't... Oh, you've got to be... You've got to be kidding me. How did we miss that? How did we miss that? That's embarrassing that's that's definitely embarrassing oh no that was a rough hit which one of these guys has the oh you've got the full health oh please there we go so you missed that's good we're going for you 70 percent chance we could kneecap him oh i mean sure i guess although i also don't think my crew likes it when we kill cops Oh, that's also pushing police activity in the area up quite a bit as well. Oh, no. This might... I, I Well, I say this might not be a good idea. Objectively speaking, I think we can be quite confident in saying that uh, this is not a good idea to be killing, you know, agents. Law enforcement agents. It's, it's not a good idea. It's kind of that simple. Now, 20% chance of hitting this guy. Let's take that chance, and we missed. We've got you over here. 9% chance. I'm going to move you up a little bit and see if we can get you in a better a better spot. 9% chance. Let's take it. And you missed. I mean, to be fair, we kind of expected it. Uh, you with a 35% chance. Oh, that's what we want to see. That is what we want to see. All right. Now, this guy has nothing he can really do. So, let's move you. I think it's just the two of them left, isn't it? 
So let's move you down there. And we'll see how that goes. And we circle around again. So we, we probably don't need to call in the boys. We've got a 62% chance of hitting that guy. So let's take it and please don't miss this time. There we go. And now we've got Ma with a 97 versus a 66. Let's take the 97, putting down the last guy. And now it's just the one of them. Now you're going to get some pretty good angles on, on my guards, but everybody else is fine, which is exactly what we want. Just a little bit annoying that we kind of need to move everybody to get up to this agent. But that's all right. We can uh, we can manage. In fact, 10% chance there. Uh, let's let's take it. And we missed. That's I mean fair enough. I kind of figured we would. Uh nothing that you can do. I don't think we need to heal Hugh. I I think we can kind of just move him a little bit and try and keep him out of the fight. Uh you on the other hand, 9% chance. Let's take the double fire. And we missed both. That was that was kind of what I expected. Uh, 5% chance. Let's take it. We missed. Again, kind of what I expected. Someone over here is going to turn up dead. I'm just going to say it right now. One of them is going to turn up dead. There we go. Now, let's keep on moving in. Let's keep on keeping on. In fact, let's rescue this person. Let's get you out of those cuffs. Get you back in the fight a little bit. And uh, I don't think we'll bother calling in the boys. I think what we'll do, though is a little bit of overwatch even if it's kind of silly as for ma let's go here because that might give us a really good angle should this person do something stupid which i mean stupid's not the word i'd necessarily use but that works gives me a better angle at the very least uh you can move up to here and we should be able to get a shot on you from there as well 57 percent chance and we missed oh come on Come on. What is that? 10%. And that missed. We get Hugh just chilling over here. You know what, Hugh? We can... Uh, we'll have you just sit on Overwatch. He's he's contributing is what he's doing. Let's go for the double fire with 9%. We got one of them. Which, honestly, I'm slightly surprised about. Uh, let's move you here. And see if we can do some damage. 40% chance. Let's take it. We missed. My God, these shots are just rough. 5% chance. We missed. I guess you are using a shotgun from across the building. That's that's kind of to be expected. And 35% chance we got the hit. Okay. Oh, boy. So we circle around. We have max. Let's... 52% chance. I'm going to move him. I'm going to move him into cover. Just a little bit of cover. 52% chance. We got the hit. And now, Ma, I'm kind of hoping you can finish this off. 62%. There we go. All right. So that's done. We managed to kill a lot of people. I don't, I don't know if that was a good idea, though. I don't, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if annoying the uh, Bureau of Prohibition is a good idea. I want to say it's probably not. I want to say we probably just caused a bit of a problem. Uh, now, we got a message from Henry at one of the breweries. Hey, boss, uh, really need to see you down here. It's urgent. Okay, so we have we have things going on is what we've got going on. Uh, let's take a look at this district and see what improvements we can go for. And to be honest, I'm, I'm thinking Lone Shark Income. So we'll do that. We've got the improvement building. Hey, that's more like it. You got the place running like a well-oiled machine. Here's a little something for your trouble. You got three first aid kits and $2,000. Ah, thanks, Sal. Hey, remember, precincts only work with each other if the boundaries touch. You can move cash and alcohol easily through territory that you control. If a precinct gets taken and your territory gets split up, you ain't gonna be able to get resources to the cutoff precinct. Keep building up to make the most of your supply lines. In fact, now that you've consolidated, 
you should take over another precinct in the neighborhood that touches your territory. You got two ways of going about this. You can take out the rackets beforehand to cut off the reinforcements and make that end fight a little bit easier. Or go right for the big battle at the safe house or the, the depot and deal with the reinforcements then. The choice is yours. Good luck, Kingpin. Thank you, Sal. All right, we got some money. Got a lot of money. Okay. Not bad. Uh, we also need to go talk to Ma again. So, uh, how, you, how you doing, Ma? Let's move. Can I how you doing? Ah, oh, well, hey, well, you were harsh, but fair. Uh, well, maybe not fair either, but you got your money. Damn right. Okay, so now we need to kill Frank Reagan. We got some money there as well, which is lovely. So, if we zoom out, we now own these two precincts, which is great. Follow the money. You receive a letter from Ella Hoffman. Dear Maxim Zelnick. Apologies for the formality of this invitation. After all, we've been th through together. All of the bosses in town are getting one. Wait, oh, well, hold on a minute. Let's try reading that again. All of the bosses in town are getting one. But you're special, aren't you? I'm hosting a night of revelry at my casino. The luxury lounge. But it's high rollers only. Are you a high roller, Max? Prove that you can sit with the big boys and you can consider yourself invited. Regards, Ella. That's probably what Ella sounds like, right? To be invited, you must have at least 200 notoriety. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's see. Get a mole. Okay. Take over another precinct. 10,000 uh, income. Moving on up. Promote an advisor. Okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, can I promote you? Yeah, so we can make you an advisor. The, the bridge between the boss and the troops. The advisor will boost the loyalty of gang members based on their persuasion. So yours is 33, yours is 36, mine is 87. Can I promote you? Is, is that a thing I can do? Yeah, we'll go for you. All right. Thank heavens. So Ma is now an advisor... And Hugh, I mean, we can make you a mole. You can infiltrate other gangs. Once installed in another faction, they can sabotage rackets, steal cash, plant misinformation, or try to take out other bosses. I kind of want to keep Hugh for now, so I don't think we're going to do that. Don't really think that's what we need to be doing. Got a bit of money, though. Got a sniper. Got some more notoriety. So no complaints there. I am just slightly annoyed at how much of this turf has been taken by the other gangs slightly annoyed definitely definitely could have used a bit more turf myself but uh well here we are i guess i suppose we could improve some places that would definitely be a bit of an option we could spend some of the money that we're making to make more booze and start selling it in the speakeasies and kind of, you know, take the two, uh, what do you got it? What are, the, what are they called? Uh, I've completely forgotten the name of these things already. Precincts. We could take the two precincts and just upgrade everything in them. Because, I mean, with two precincts, we're getting nearly $5,000. So if we were making better booze and, you know, pushing it to the speakeasies and pushing it to the casino... Ooh, a message from one of your guards at Golden Goose Financial Services. Hey, boss, you know that, uh, that name you wanted us to look out for? Mo Simone. It turns out he's borrowing from us. I know you want to hand over the debt, but he's paying us a lot of money. What do we do with him? Oh. You will hand Mo's debt over to Izzy. He'll be grateful. Okay. And if we don't tell Izzy. Okay. So why are we, why would we tell Izzy? Are we, uh, you know what? Don't tell him. Let's just keep getting paid. Now out of the blue, we get an angry call from Izzy Einstein. You rat bastard. I told you to tell me when you came across Mo's debt. If you'd told us straight away, we might have gotten a handle on this. But he's spiraling out of control now. So here's what you're going to do. 
you're gonna hand over that debt, and I won't send my squad to ruin your day. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. We can hand over the debt. We get plus 10 notoriety, plus 5 intimidation, plus 2 leadership. We can attempt to make Izzy behave. Let's go for persuasion. And it failed. <laughs> the cost of me doing business with you is that I don't burn down your legal casino. You get me? Now hand over the debt. Sure. Good. Thank you. Be careful out there, Maxim, or you might hear from me again. Yeah, whatever you say, Izzy, whatever you say. Ah, man, I, I think what we do... Oh, God. Ay, ay, ay. The gubernatorial elections are taking place in November this year, and you have a chance to sway the city's vote. The Democrats could help your rackets, but the Republicans have the police. Oh, boy. Okay. So, more earnings from casinos... More earnings from speakeasies. I want to say 9,000 to the Republicans. I'm pretty sure my speakeasies are making me the most money. Yeah, it's 3,500 from speakeasies. So 20% more of that would be, what, 700 more dollars? Let's give the Republicans $9,000. Seems fair enough. And one of my highest debtors, a known brawler named Mighty Matthews, wants to speak with me urgently. Sir, I owe you $98, and I aim to make it up to you. But I owe money to Reagan's Colts, too. And they say I gotta pay them first. They won't let it go. They say if I don't pay, they'll take my right hook. That's, that's my livelihood. Okay. Okay. I get my money, but they won't be happy with me or Mighty. Uh, we can take a partial... There's a chance he won't pay me back. Or we could reveal their safe house. I want that. I, li I like that. He's debt free. It's in South Loop here. I'll show you. Okay. Where, where are we looking? We're looking right here. So that's their actual safe house for the cults. Now, that's very interesting, because that means that there's a good chance if we take that out, Reagan himself might be in there, which would be lovely. Now, since you're helping out the Republicans, they have two small tasks for you. If you complete them, together you can do a lot of good, good for the city and yourself. Uh, let's see what they want. Chicago-style politics. What are, we, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at? So, talk to the shady stranger and meet the businesswoman. Consider it done, I guess. I'm not really sure. So, there's one of them over here. Let's go have a conversation with you and see what's going on. And then the other one is just around the corner. No problem. And then we are running across here. All right. We'll have these conversations. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's going on. And hopefully, some good things some good things come of it hopefully now we're here so what do you want we're glad that you took the chance on us we won't let you down when we get into office i don't like to take chances i like to make sure things go my way our candidate likes to gamble but only where appropriate we want a safe place for him to indulge this little vice away from the prying eyes of the voting public can you uh provide such a place you want only the best. I'll get it. So upgrade your racket's ambience level to three or higher. We can totally do that. Let's go talk to the... I guess this is the shady stranger over here as well. Hopefully there's no time limit on this particular job, but we'll find out. Uh, your money's appreciated, but the political game runs in favors too. Will you uh, you help us? Sure, let's, let's hear what you want. We'll see how patriotic I feel. There's a newspaper man digging into the perfectly legitimate dealings of our candidate. He's waiting for an informant right now on the street in uh, South Loop. But uh, that uh, informant won't be turning up. Go and give him a scoop, if you know what I mean. 
Sure. You got it. I can absolutely do that. So we need to take out the journalist who is right here, right? Yeah, that's the journalist. So let's let's head down that way and see what we can do. Hopefully we can, you know, actually take you out. Because looking at it, I can't actually... Oh, you're out of range, that's why. All right. We'll chill here. We'll attack you. And uh, we actually have one of our guards helping a little bit too. So let's go for this. Journalist has a revolver. That's fair enough. I'm not judging. And 72% chance. Let's take it. There we go. All right. Journalist is done. And that's good. So we want to go back to the Shady Stranger. Although I also want to upgrade my racket to level 3 or higher. That's just the ambience. Okay. So this place here. Let's look at upgrades. Let's look at ambience. And we probably also want to look at games since that's going to... Actually, games don't do much. That's just more upkeep. But it is more customers too. So maybe maybe this one for word of mouth. Then we'll hold off on games for now. Uh, let's go talk to the shady stranger though. And just see what's going on. See if we can't... Uh, like I said, get a Republican in office and do uh, do some good things here. Get uh, get some money. Ah, you uh, you talked to that reporter. Yeah, the story's dead. We're grateful for your commitment to the party. Patriots like you deserve a reward. Uh, whatever Uncle Sam can spare. I will absolutely take it. Uh, now, we have three weeks left to complete this whole setup here. How long is it going to take to upgrade this place? I feel like it's going to take longer than we actually have. Which is a bit of a worry. I'm not going to lie. Is it possible to... I wish it was possible to kind of like, I don't know, get these things upgraded like immediately. Because it definitely, it would definitely be useful to do that. But I guess, you know, we're just doing what we can. Uh, now what I will do is I do want to come around here and I actually want to upgrade the financial services. Because we do get a bit of a bonus from these thanks to the improvement building. But if we go and get uh, accountancy upgraded, we get even more income, which is probably not a bad idea. So 1920 on that for sure. We also have the bonuses to the speakeasies as well. So if we take a bit of a look at these guys... They are consuming a fair bit, but I feel like it wouldn't be a terrible idea to maybe, I don't know, maybe increase the ambience a little bit more, maybe the word of mouth a little bit more. I think we'll do, we'll do ambience for now. And uh, maybe on, I don't know, this guy as well. What can we go for? So deflection's maxed out. Ambience is two right now. So let's go for uh let's go for ambience there as well. We'll make the places a little a little nicer. Also, what uh what racket is it they want me to upgrade? I'm assuming it is the casino. I'm assuming it's the casino they want upgraded, right? Because it's the 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 politician likes to gamble, and we only have the one because I would imagine it's the casino. Which is fair enough. Now, let's take a little bit of a look at the journal. Just because I'm curious. So, we need to talk to Joel. We need to talk to Henry. Talk to Ma. Alright, what's going on with Ma right here? Let's I see. You with something? I, I don't want to mix my business with your business, boss. But, uh, some old business from Little Rock has managed to worm its way into town. And it could cause a whole heap of trouble for me. And, uh, ipso facto, you... If so, what? Just, just tell me what the problem is. They ain't, uh, they ain't teach you no damn Latin in school. Eh, never mind about all that. Back when I was practicing in Little Rock, I got my first taste of organized crime. It was pretty easy to move hooch when you were the one doing the prosecuting. I don't trust the law, but I, I trust you. You shouldn't trust anybody, but I guess that's something you gotta learn. Uh, <laughs> I... How do I... I'm not even going to try. 
Stop confusing me with Latin and get to the point. Why'd you leave Little Rock anyway? I drew the attention of this uh, young lawyer, Elaine Roth. Idealistic girl. Reminded me of myself at her age. Not, uh, not that that mattered. You crushed her, I'm guessing. Oh, like a bug. Ruined the whole career before it even started, but it was, it was too late. She'd drawn enough heat to me that I had to scalp her out of town with my tail between my goddamn legs. Well, she did you a favor. Chicago is a great place for a corrupt judge. It sure is, but I guess it's a good place for a disgraced lawyer, too, because I just got worried the Roth's in town. I ain't ever... I, I ain't gonna let her take me down again. You can bet every scrap you own on that. You want to take care of her permanently? Yes, I do. Should have done it last time. Will you come with me? You better make sure there's no legal blowback from this. Don't worry about it. I've already got. I've already been laying the groundwork for the DA to look the other way. That's why I pay you so much. Damn right. Let's go bury this ghost. We're in the street. She drinks at the Buccaneer. All right. Gotta go kill someone at the Buccaneer. Ma, consider it done. 